Yet another BG that I get so often. We don't even have a full team. Blizzard, come on, you can't start us out with just non-full team. Noxar, thank you for waiting for me, dude. I wonder if he was judging me like, is this guy gonna go? Should I ban him? Should I try to boot him? I am gonna report you so bad, you baddie. <laughs> I can only imagine what he sounds like. Anyway, I want to talk a bit about rogues, dude. With patch 1.5 coming out, like the the feelings are everybody's everybody's like all high up, hopped up on emotions, man. In my opinion, I feel like a lot of people are, I guess, afraid that rogues will be just a bad class as soon as the patch hits. Like, in a way, I guess, they're making rogues better. Like, they're giving blind to assassination. They're doing some damage tunings PvE-wise, which doesn't really affect the PvP. There is a slow nerf, which I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. But I'm feeling pretty optimistic. And I feel like there's still a lot of the rogue community, like, even if you just look at the forums, are just saying that rogues are in the worst place ever. And I guess this is kind of where I want to focus the video on and discussion on. I feel like there's just so many people that believe that rogues are just the worst class and Blizzard just ruined them. But I think Rogue just went through a change and a lot of people just aren't used and aren't adapted yet to the change. Rogues are no longer a god tier like they were in, let's say, mm, Warlords of Jenner. In WAD, they were literal god tier class, man. So much damage, just for no reason either. They're just like, why is Rogue dealing a lot of damage? Because Rogue. That's why. Really? Immunity? That's weird, dude. Yeah, okay. Well, that's gone. Nice shadow mill, dude. I totally didn't see you there. So yeah, I just thought like, okay, so rogues have, um, you know, rogues are not god tier anymore. They're not just like easy win. Cause let's be honest, rogues were super, 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 super extra fucking crispy, super easy, super nice, super powerful. And it's just like, it was a little bit unfair. I mean, we had like what burst of speed. We have a fury warrior that just kill him forever. So this is going to be a while. Never mind, that was shorter than expected. We had burst of speed, we had all the CCs, we had wall, we had shadow reflection, and the combos you could wall off with it. We had assassination that could just like one shot people. I think we just were really, really powerful as a spec, and a lot of people got used to that as like the norm. And once, and now rogues are like not top tier, not god tier, like second tier class kind of right now, which isn't a bad thing. It just doesn't mean we are the strongest in the game, but we're still pretty, pretty out there, in my opinion. I feel like we're still pretty viable, pretty powerful. We're just not top, the very tippy to top of the tiers. This guy should have saw me. That was eyes. He should have seen me. But I guess not. And he's gonna pay for that now. Nice leap, man. Nice leap. Kidney of the healer. Nope. Again, kidney of the healer. Kidney of the warrior. <laughs> So I feel like rogues are in still in a good spot and they're still a viable class, they just play differently. Like subtlety is all about CC and steady damage, you don't really have burst, but like, doesn't mean you're terrible. In a team situation you still offer a lot of utility, like you offer the stun, right? Be able to control the enemy, but because you have so much control and so much mobility, where you could, mobility which allows you to control more, that means that because you have so much of that, you are less likely to just have burst damage. What the heck? It's like some of the rocks here are actually buggy. Yeah, I swear to god. With that ramp, some of the rocks are buggy. So I feel like rogues are in a good spot, man. I honestly don't think they're in as bad of a spot as many people have stayed. Like, look, the amount of control you have here, the triple stuns, like, holy shit. That guy is annoyed, and that, the fact that he can't get, get me off of him. Like, if I had bigger bursts than I already have as a subtlety, which isn't like the highest burst, it's more like just increasing intensity of the sustained damage. Like, he'd be dead. Like, that player actually wouldn't be able to do anything. And I think as rogues, we kind of need to chill the fuck out a little. Or, not like every rogue, but like the guys that are going around in the echo chamber saying, Oh, rogues are bad. Rogues are terrible. They're in the worst spot ever. Blizzard, why don't you just delete rogues, right? It's just like, why? Why are you doing this? Only because our class isn't overpowered anymore? I mean, that's a little unfair, don't you think? I mean, do you, do you expect to be OP for like the rest of the game? Hey, rogues are just overpowered. That's just the norm. Okay, we're just gonna live with that now. That's just that's just our life. That's our reality. Rogues are overpowered, and nothing we can do about it. Come on, man. Right now, reds are really, really uh, strong. Every class, I feel like, is strong during certain phases of the game, or certain expansions, certain seasons. And I think it's okay. I don't think it's a bad thing. And I feel like it's really up to the players to adjust to it. I honestly feel that rogues have the bare minimum 
to do the most amount of like effectiveness in terms of being you know pvp effective this guy's gonna trinket that kidney i'm gonna blind him off of that or he's not gonna trinket it and i can blind him continue pressuring get a dot on the demon hunter silence on both of them maybe sap nope no saps and i'm dead actually i'm okay i'm vanishing like look i was able to control that healer while dps and the other two dps and as long as i'm able to manage my comp points and energy properly which is part of the class managing comp points and energy and being able to spend them and empower them with a finality that is what subtlety is all about right now and it's like it's not bad it's just a different change to the play style and i feel like a lot of players just haven't adjusted to the idea that hey you are not bad you just your play style is different so i i don't know i i honestly feel that rogues have all the tools to perform well so it's really up to the player how well you do or how bad you do i mean look i'm topping damage not the top of killing blows but i'm topping damage a subtlety rogue a class with no burst like how are you gonna tell me that oh rogues must suck if you're topping damage somebody's gonna come up with an excuse like oh you just must be playing against bad players totally must be it you figured me out my friend you figured me out get over here another demon hunter i don't know man i feel like a lot of the rogues are making up an excuse like oh i'm doing better rogue must be something wrong with the class not with the player and i feel like a lot of players I wouldn't know if that is the case for everybody, but I feel like for majority of the cases, we should consider this first. Maybe it's not the class. Maybe it's just you. And maybe you just haven't adjusted to the class, which is okay. It took me a long, long, and I'm still adjusting to Outlaw, going from combat to Outlaw. I won't say I'm perfect at it, not anywhere near it. I'm nowhere near perfect in any of the other specs of Rogue either, but I still feel like I am taking, uh, you know, as much of... Uh, opportunity as i can in order to improve on my own gameplay there's always something i can clean up on and i feel like a lot of players could be doing the same thing i feel like there's a lot of things a lot of other players can clean up themselves as well in terms of their play style and how they appropriately use abilities like for example here i fucked up my energy i fucked up my abilities basically for the most part i have a demon hunter on me so i should just be peacing out like there's always something i can improve on so that's kind of how i'm looking at the situation And the reason I'm saying all this is, the only reason I would even say subtlety is good is after watching PS Hero. If PS Hero can do well as a subtlety rogue, I feel that anybody can. In my honest opinion. If PS Hero, who is literally one of the greatest, one of the best rogues I've seen on EU, and some of the greatest YouTube videos of him doing high rated arenas, could do well as outlaw, assassination, and especially subtlety. If I can see him do well, that means that one of the best players figured this out, how to play the spec properly, that means if he figured it out, then I can do it. And that means everybody else can as well. So I honestly think we should be looking at the players themselves and if they truly understand what the class and the spec is all about. Not what it's been about, but what it is about. Present. And a lot of people like to make comparison like, oh, in the past, like, what or mop. Rogues used to be this and that. And it's like, well, they're not anymore. So, I mean, we can live the rest of our life with roasts and the glasses remembering the good old days. Right, where we had all these OP abilities and so much utility compared to other classes. Or we can try to get better at the current version of the game. And I feel like once people let go of the notion of like what old rogues had, and either just stop clutching it so close to the heart like it's near and dear, let it go, relearn the spec, and if you really don't like the class in general as a rogue, I think it would be a good time to try another class in a game. Or another spec. Or maybe a whole nother game in general. Because I feel like a lot of people are not sure whether they don't like rogue, don't like specific spec of rogue, or if they don't even like legion so i feel like when it's all this confusion that people have of world of warcraft and rogues in general i feel like there's a lot of a uh, a lot of soul searching in a way that a lot i feel like a lot of people can do and i feel like it'll be a healthy thing to do because let's say you don't longer you don't longer end up playing a rogue right but it might be a healthy thing for you to try another class in general so it's not completely terrible but that's just my thoughts on it so what do you guys think about the video? I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a BG performance that I had. It wasn't anything amazing. I think we were down two people all whole BG. So that was fun. <laughs> Just being down two members at all times. How do we even win, dude? I don't even understand. Anyway, I'm going to go do more BGs and more on my dailies because I haven't done them yesterday. I'll see you guys in the next video.